I'm Oliver Dravina here with Young Hollywood on the set of Disney's new show, Best Friends Whenever. I'm going to take you around the set and we're going to speak to the cast. Let's go. This is Gus yes. and Ricky who play Barry, Barry and Naldo. 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 Wait, what, Naldo. What's your last name? Barry Eisenberg. Mine's Montoya. We got his last name today. With Landry and Lauren, how are you? Good, how are you? Sid and Shelby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and this is your attic, your girls' room. It is. This is great. I wish I had a, I was going to say I wish I had a girls' room like this when I was younger, but then I realised how that would sound. <laughs> Benjamin, Matthew. Nope. Matthew, Benjamin. Yes. yes. <sighs> this is going to be a tough morning. <laughs> and this is where the magic happens. This the is The science it. happens. I look this totally is where the science happens. It's the science. Magic. Science, science okay. was never my thing at school, I have to be honest. I always loved it. Um, you always loved amazing. it. You loved, well, you, might, you must still be doing science. You still doing science in school? In, yeah. Well, I mean, we all, it is summer, so. so. Yeah. You just finished chemistry, to. and now you're working in as a, a scientist. Yeah. This is brilliant. In the show, you're, one of your experiments goes wrong. We've got our neighbors, Sid and Shelby, who are the two uh, main girls in the show, and they come over and we have an experiment that goes wrong. It's actually that laser right over there. Naughty laser. Yeah, bad. Bad, and bad laser. Wait, why do we still have that but, thing I mean, in here? Should we we still it? have it well, because you should, um, you're meant to learn from your mistakes. We're still gonna but... use it. And it uh, it gives these girls the ability to time travel. And Brilliant. so that that's kind of where the, the show starts. And okay. that's, it's all about just what you would do if you're a teenager and you could time travel. I want you to jump back and make sure this doesn't happen. Who's to say we haven't tried a bunch of times and it always ends up this way? Have you? Who's to say? How are you not confused? How is how how is everyone else finding it on set? I mean, you two, as far as twins go, you are twins. So Benjamin has a the like, kind of just a mole right here and just. Turn. Let us see that. Let us see that again. That's not very nice. You don't need to point that out. That <laughs> is that really that this is what distinguishes you two. This is amazing. Pretty much. Uh, do you play tricks on people? No. no not that I, why not? Um, I just don't like. You should. People. You should. We need to train you on this. I'm going to give you some training after this interview because yeah. you could be really having some fun. Take us around the room. Yes. The room. This is obviously Sid's. It's really fun. It's sort of, it's like the perfect representation of her character. Okay. It's super like primary colors, the bean bags on the top. Um, I love the clown poster that's shown in the first episode. I've got to be honest, it's a little bit scary. It's a little scary. Little, that looks um, like the clown But it's it. the perfect way to set up her character because she has a dark side to her, which is cool. Just a little. They really wanted to like get a, a nice dividing line they between like that. the mess and the chaos and the scariness. <laughs> are you and the you're not referring to the character, are you? No, okay. just, just, just check the it. room. <laughs> but the and this is more of like the put together. Shelby's actually so crafty. It's uh, it's so cute. She has just a little crafting station back there um, right. with tons of felt and tons of beads and tons of you know coloring things. And you can always find Shelby crafting. Is that similar to you in real life? Do you um, like making things? That's a no. That's a no. <laughs> I think we can say that's a no. What's been a favorite moment so far? Something that you've made that sticks out as being a, as a, a great invention? Apart from this guy, who's this, this guy? Is, okay, so this is, we've got an alien here. Uh, yeah, and it, he hit you with it. The, with the yeah, 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 well, it's a nose. Um, and they told us we could name the alien, and I named him Jensen, although I'm not sure if that's Jensen. official okay. yet. But his okay. name is, as far as anyone's I'm concerned, fine with Jensen. his name is Jensen. Jensen, handsome Jensen. Yeah. I like handsome Jensen. So take us around. We're in the, a room where you guys spend a lot of your, your time yes. in the first season. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, t take me around it. I want to see everything. Okay, so um, this is just our, like, just where we eat every single dinner and meal. What's your favorite dish? If you were going to sit at that table now and you could eat anything, anything in the world? Probably a grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese sandwich? Yeah. Very American. I'll go with lasagna. Lasagna. I think I'll pick lasagna. It's a good, good one. If you were to time travel, would you go to the past or the future? Future. Future. Why? Or past. No. No, you can't. Uh, you can't juggle like that. You've um, only got one. You first. Past or the future? Okay, I was thinking about this. I, want, I would do 2015, but in Back to the Future Part 2, because it's like different than our real 2015. Got, That's yeah, really okay. random. No, I would go past any day. There are so many times in the past that I wish I lived through. Yeah. Like, can we can we talk about medieval times and then, you know, the 1700s and the 50s and the 80s and the 20s? Like, come on, past Brilliant. any day. Brilliant. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Flight. You person flight. It's a good one. Yeah. Teleportation. Flight and teleportation. Go anywhere one, so. in the world, right? 
That, that you can go anywhere in the I'll world. I'll go anywhere in the world. I'll just take a little longer. But he can there. go, yeah. <laughs> I would what would you choose? I would definitely choose Morphing, like J Law's character in X Men. Okay. That okay. is like, that's my go to because how cool would that be? Like, I could just like morph into anybody right now. Could morph into President Obama and just walk around. That would be your go to, would it? I was going to say, Maybe. if you could morph into anyone Probably. then. Obama? <laughs> nice. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. That one. So. Think you can handle it? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. Give it, a, give it a go. Give it a go. <laughs> I'm never going to look at Obama in the same way now. <laughs> And you, Landry? Um, flying's pretty cool. I know it's typical. Like that's flying's a really a typical one. superpower. It's always in my dreams. But it's it's really cool. Um, See, that you could get caught and then like locked in the lab. That's that, very true. You know. Um, like yeah. morphing. Morphing kind of morphing knows. Sounds you just kind of cool. just like. Here we are back on set. This time we're not in a bedroom. We're in a school. This is a school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is where you Absolutely. go school. Yeah. In, in the show. In, in the, the show. show. In, in the, the show. Chest. This is only make believe. <laughs> Only make believe, but it's pretty impressive. The set. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a school. It's got huge. The, got the posters behind us right here. The robotics club. Would you likely be in that club? I'm gonna go with no. Okay, that's no. Yeah. I did robotics when I was little. I was. In was like, that really a club? I've never heard of a robotics club. No, 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 club. no. It was like a like a girls empowerment thing where we're like, yeah, we're girls, we're smart. You know, we can do this, and okay. you know, we did. We took uh, apart computers and stuff. It was for like you know girls who got like straight A's and who were like, yeah, we're smart. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice, because you two on the show are a little bit, little bit naughty, right? You act yeah, up a little bit. Mischievous. We are mischievous, mischievous, show, yes. but not in real life. No, not really in real I'm life. I'm a good yeah. guy. Yeah, with a, with that cheeky little grin, he says, "I'm a good guy." <laughs> Seen that one before. Seen that one before. Did you uh, did you have to learn magic for the actual episode? Um, yes, sort of. Yeah. Uh, we have to, we had to learn it. an illusion, an illusion, which was a um, levitation trick, which was pretty fun. Wow. So now you can levitate in real life? Yeah. That was it, we just levitated. Yeah, we just did it, we just did it. But you know what I really like about this school that I never had in real school? Real lockers. So I kind of feel like, like right. I'm going to actual school. And they're nice. colorful too, they're not those like dirty. Right, they're lovely and new as well. Yeah. I kind of want those lockers. I know. We never had lockers <laughs> in England either. This is <laughs> me, making me feel absolutely terrible. We just had to protect our stuff in our pockets. <laughs> They were our lockers. If you yes. could be anyone in the world's assistant, anyone. Anyone? Um, Who and why? Thomas Edison, because him creating light is the coolest thing in the world. And you know, where would we be without light in this world, right? I mean, we'd be really dark. <laughs> that was that was a, a, a lot better answer than I would have given. I would have just Who would you up, be? I don't know, Brad Pitt or something. Brad Pitt. Just to buy his toilet yeah. paper. I, I don't <laughs> know why I went toilet, toilet paper, paper either. It's yeah. just gone really weird. And what about you? It's okay. Uh, beat that, by the way. That, that, that's a tough one for I'll me. beat it and won it. Nikola Tesla. Okay. Better Ooh. than Edison. Because okay, Edison and Tesla, Tesla were competitors, but Tesla was a nicer guy and Edison was mean. So. I think I want to wrap this up because <laughs> I clearly went to the wrong school. It's okay. <laughs> I didn't learn any of this, but whoever they are, I'm kidding. I know who they are. <clears throat> Matthew. Yes. Benjamin. Yes. yes. We finished on a high. This is great. It's not easy. Not easy, I tell you. Look at them, they're twins. 